Welcome to a QWeb hosting video tutorial. Today, we will see how to configure SSH Keep Alive to prevent sessions from timing out. To connect to a server using SSH, the SSH daemon should be running on the server. If the client doesn't send data to the server regularly, the server will close the connection after some time. To stop the server from closing the SSH connection, we need to modify the settings in the config file of the client and the server. First, we will see what should be modified in the SSH configuration setting of the client. Open your SSH client configuration file, usually found at it is present at slash home slash user slash dot SSH slash config. Add the server alive interval lines to the file. The server alive interval setting specifies how often, in seconds, the client sends keep alive messages. Adjust this value based on your needs. Also add these lines just below of the sever alive interval. It will enable SSH multiplexing, allowing you to reuse an existing SSH connection for later sessions. This way you won't need to start a new connection every time you interact. Control Master allows sharing of SSH connections. Control path shows where the control socket for multiplexing is. And control persist sets how long the control connection stays open after the last session ends. Adjust control persist as needed. After then, save the configuration file. Next, we will see what should be modified in the server-side SSH configuration settings. To change the idle timeout, open the SSH server configuration file, usually at slash etc slash SSH slash SSHD underscore config. Look for the lines that mention client alive interval and client alive count max. Client alive interval sets how often, in seconds, the server sends messages to the client to check if it's still active. Client alive count max determines how many unanswered messages are allowed before the server ends the connection. Modify these values to suit your needs. For example, client alive interval 300, client alive count max 3. After modifying the value, save the configuration file. Next, restart the SSH server to apply the changes. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to configure SSH Keep Alive to prevent sessions from timing out. If you like our technical videos, please press the subscriber button and bell icon to receive instant notification of our new videos. Each like is important to us, so do not forget to thumbs up. To download a PDF file of this video, please subscribe to our Telegram channel, AccuWeb Hosting where you will have the access of PDF files of all our videos. Thank you for watching.